Welcome to another podcast, podcast number two of, uh, I don't even know what this is. Cla- cards. Cards. I don't know what it is. Cards anymore, it's just about sports. All right. It's so affiliated with your account though, so. It's all about your branding. It's true, that's true, that's true. All right, the first topic we're going to start with is basketball, and we're going to re- react to the Bleacher Report top 100 players. So. Hey, uh, let me share my screen. All right, Donna, who pulled that baby up? <laughs> All right, so I've read through this already a little bit, but it's pretty rough, I think. Starts off with Giannis at one. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's probably right. I mean, this top three. Go from LeBron and Kawhi. No, I'd start from the top to bottom. No, when Kawhi actually plays. Giannis, LeBron, and Kawhi, you probably could put any combination of them in the top three and that'd be understandable. Everyone has a case for top for number one. I mean I think they got I'd that probably put LeBron at number one, but yeah. Yeah. And four, James Harden. Yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. Harden. in the regular season. I say he's better than everyone else on this list. Or like from the excluding the top three. Luca at five. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah. You think Le- LeBron, would- LeBron would rather have Anthony Davis on his team than Luca? So, yeah, but that's so Luka, that's Davis is a better player. If you if you're starting if you're competing in the playoffs, this, this yeah, postseason. but you want Luka's Davis, their closer. Luka. AD never closes a game for the Lakers. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. And Ant- or Jokic over Anthony Davis. Uh, no, what? <laughs> Why is Jokic number six? That's a little high. That's a little high. I would put Jason Tatum ahead of Jokic. I don't like yeah. his skinniness now. That's gonna affect him. I think. Yeah, Jokic. His defense isn't there. His three-point shooting is not there. His defense isn't there. All you're looking to do is pass. He's a good scorer. He's but... just a useful center. He's gonna be like a speedy Luca guards. Kenny, where's your video? Yeah. I my neck hurts, so I'm laying in a very comfortable position now that I'm not. Maybe you should go take a bath. <laughs> Come punch Kenny a few times. <laughs> or, uh, Damian Lillard at seven. I mean, that's probably oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's underrated too. I, think. I don't know if I'd have him over Davis still. There's well, Dame, Dame's probably. in that like one B tier. Yeah, he could be the best. So I don't know, but Anthony Davis. He was still on the Pelicans, he'd be top five. But this yeah. is a current top hundred, right? And yeah. yeah, this was like put like, up last, like week. in the bubble. Yeah, so it's not like Steph Curry's not here, uh, Kevin Durant's not here. Are the Mavericks? In no, the it was it was this past season. This whole past Ooh, season, the best Jimmy Butler. This is high. He's been shooting pretty only, bad. He's having a good year. Is this only teams in the bubble? No, this is the whole past season. Wow. Oh, uh, whoa. Okay. I wish Jimmy that. Butler's a little high. Definitely a little yeah, high. You got to think though, Jimmy Butler. The, the number one option, he closes the game for him on a team that starts two undrafted free agents. I mean, yeah. I'm requesting a trade on 2K because of this guy. Have you guys have you guys seen this list before? No. no. All right, number ten. Number ten is gonna put you guys. <laughs> Here's the thing, Middleton's shooting. He's shooting like 50, 40, 90 right now. I mean, he's everyone just blames him because he choked last year in the playoffs. But if he suddenly just goes on a hot streak here, and like can k- help carry that Bucks team to the conference finals, Middleton's going to be uh, thought as one, you know, maybe a top thirty player in the league. Yeah, top thirty. Top thirty, not top ten. Not like top people just know him for choking Bradley last year. So. Yeah, they, you could name twenty players better than Chris Middleton. Jason Tatum at eleven is high too. No, it's but not. He's a good player. It's he's a the good player. The ten games, the ten games before the virus like happened, he, he was, was scoring 30. thirty points a game and shooting forty seven percent from three. When was this made? You said like three days ago. This was made three days ago. Yeah. Okay, so where the heck is Bradley Beal? The dude that was averaging like three a game. This Bradley Beal is on a terrible team. Okay. So Embiid is twelve. So that That's respectable. Yeah. Just because he's on a bad team. You put Bradley Beal up there. Put CJ McCollum up there. Chris Paul, Chris Paul is nice. I like this. Um, Chris Paul, yeah. 
He was the one I'm who closed. The new, I'm liking the new Thunder. He was the point guard. Of, he was a closing point guard in the All Star game. Like he, this guy is is a baller on the banana boat crew. She's pictures hey. of the cat. Cat, what? It could oh, be a little high. No, no. It could be a little high. Don't disrespect <laughs> my boy cat, but this is oh, probably man. a little high. Okay. After this last he's season, he's talented enough to be number fourteen. He was hurt. He was just hurt. I don't know if he deserves it after this past. But season. he couldn't fend off Jimmy Butler in Game of Zones, so <laughs> he doesn't probably deserve to be this the high. best offensive center in the league. I mean, <laughs> can he know? Can he know? Fifteen Ben Simmons. Ben? I like this. Yes, yeah. Ben super underrated. Ben. I like this. I like this pick. I don't. I don't think he's better than Cat though. Paul but... Yeah, he is. Yeah. Easy. He's better than Cat. Mm. We gotta go like twenty-five. Oh. Yeah, probably twenty-five, thirty. I'll throw the sixteen. It's respectable. Siakam. He's had a good season. I mean, oh yeah. He is the. Yeah, Rudy Gobert. It's a little high, I, th- I think. I think it's a little high. Be like 40 just for touching all those microphones with the coronavirus. Yeah, he's, he's definitely top 30. I don't he's know so he slow. In his offense, he can't be in the fourth quarter. Like when they play the Rockets, he's yeah. not in the game. Because he just can't do anything. Oh, she's all over those Miami uniforms. Kyrie. Kyrie didn't really play enough games this year. I don't really Let's see make our saying. own league. What? Clean uniforms. After this, look up Kyle the, Lowry. The top players. I love Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. This is he's one of my favorite point guards. He's really good. He's super underrated. Yeah. He's putting he's up like thirty three. He's putting up when Steve Nash won his MVP in two thousand six. Putting up those type of numbers. He's playing better seed? defense. As of now, they're a four seed or what? Or Probably a four seed. No, maybe three. No, they're two. They're the two they're seed. Two? Yeah, he's yeah. definitely underrated. But him and Siakam are carrying them. There's Bradley Beal. Yeah, I probably have Bradley Beal above Kyle Lowry, Kyrie. Just because he's averaging Rudy Gobert. Uh, yeah, yeah usually Beal. above those guys. I'd probably push Bradley Beal. Above Jordan. Bradley Beal over to 14. Adam, or Anthony Towns, yeah. I'd probably put him at 14. Yeah. I think it's just Cat because his name. And Bradley Beal also doesn't win, but neither did Cat. 22 Russell Westbrook. That's yeah. I think you should be lower. Right? It's a little low. I like Russ. I I'd, I'd I'd have him over Kyrie and Kyle Lowry. Russell Westbrook Even over is Ben the Simmons. Guy. I'd have him over Ben Simmons too. I'd have him probably 14. Probably third. I'd have him over Chris Paul too. I'd rather have Westbrook on my team than Chris okay. Paul. Mm-hmm. Well, he can't shoot though. So if you're gonna have a center on the floor, then it just destroys the. Spacing. Yeah, but he's so athletic. Yeah, he's gonna give you 30, 10, and 10. This consider, is so, consider this. So he is the type of guy that will choose a triple double, triple double over a win. I think he should be not even top thirty. He's been better this year, though. Yeah, this past him and Harden have started. 2020, 2020, the second half of this past season, he was balling. He was better than James Harden in the second half of the season. He's he's a great player. Trey Young's a little high. Worst defender in the league. Yeah, but okay, no one cares about defense. Really. He just scores a lot, though. A His lot. team won. Oh, yeah, so defense. little. Yeah, uh, what, even ha- what even happened to Cam Reddish? Dude, I know. Just fell I- off. <laughs> Kemba. Kemba, yeah. I'd have Trey Young better than him. So I'd say this is a respectable spot. Here's the thing, though. If Kemba, like. Kim has never really been on a great team, so if he has a really good run in the Ooh, playoffs. Holiday at 25. Come, what a fucking damn. Like, he's he one of the best two-way players in the league. Like, he's so. so overrated. He's so overrated. He's good. He's, he's a good player. two-way player. He but this is insane. He's only been to one All-Star this game. Though. I can't be that overrated. An all-star. He's the fourth best player. Yeah. In this is saying he should be an All-Star pretty much. He's the fourth yeah, best, no, he's the best player. player. He's the best player on the Pelicans. He's the best player. Yeah, player. without a doubt. Well, yeah. But he's so overrated. Then comes Bam. I think Bam's overrated. Yeah, Bam's pretty overrated. He doesn't shoot through. He only averages 14 points. So Like, Derrick I mean, Jones can do just as well as he does. He's an amazing defender. He's an amazing passer. He's a great player, but I don't think he should have been an all-star this year. That's true. Devin Booker. That's, yeah, that's a little probably a little higher. Yeah. But... Uh, 
you can't really get once you get this low it's hard to like nitpick everything brandon ingram that booker is better than ingram i don't know if Adebayo is better than ingram though no i hate ingram just because he looks like that and it's <laughs> as a kite I, I might even put ingram over holiday to be honest eh, I don't no, know. Oh, uh, devin booker was seen with kylie jenner this week Ooh. <laughs> You don't hear that TMZ shit. Zion. Ooh, Zion. Play that's, he needs to be 29. That's high. He hasn't played I mean, is it that yet. high, though? Yeah. In the Not games yet. he played, he played really that's good. Right. He played really good in those you games. You have to play 25 games minimum. Actually, how many games did he play even? Probably like 20. Well, here's the thing. Like, if you were going to ask me I'm a, if I give him, like, a 12-year contract, I'd say no way. But we'll see. Yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty high. Donovan Mitchell still hasn't been mentioned yet. I'd have Donovan yeah, Mitchell over Jalen yeah, Brown. I'd have Donovan Mitchell over Brandon. Yeah. Mitchell. I haven't seen Chris. Shay. That's a little high. Shea's yeah. great, but I don't know if he's over. Shea. Yeah, we haven't seen him in the playoffs yeah. yet. For his for sports cards, he's pretty overpriced. But he's have we? Oh, we saw him last year in the Clippers. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'd have missed by. There's Donovan. I'd probably have Donovan Mitchell over those. Twenty-seven. Uh, Shea and uh, even Don. I'd probably have him over Ingram, to be honest. We get a De'Aaron Fox anywhere. De'Aaron Fox is, there, CJ. De'Aaron Fox is so underrated. Jaw. Ooh, that, damn, that's high. That's, I don't know about. It. He's the rookie of the year. Yeah, he. he yeah. Yeah. But over Sabonis, I'd take Sabonis over. What? Over Jaw, what? Over Jaw. Jaw should be over Zion. Jaw should be over Zion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Zion. Yeah. You could when it comes that. to base skill, when it comes to skill, I'd probably Zion. So Sabonis is so yeah, under. Yeah, he's like, it. he's like a Kevin Love. He's averaging 15 rebounds, yeah. 18 and a half points, five assists. This is Shoots literally a 2013, 2014 Kevin Love. Like, I he's so good. There's the Aaron Fox. I probably Fox is better than Morant. I don't think 30, that could be really argued. What's he averaging, or what did he average before? Twenty point four points, seven assists. That's good. That's, good. That's pretty. He's, good. He needs to pick up his defense a little. Thirty one minutes. Plays average defense. Nice for Sacramento. So, Vucevic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's just like one that's like. Yeah, he's there. We'll do top 40. Gallinari. Yeah, we'll do top 40. And then I want to point something out in the later end. I don't like I don't like. Uh, Chris Stops. Chris Stops. I'd probably – Chris Stops over Gallinari for sure. I'd have him over Gallinari and other guy. Who's the point? And Round up the Vooch. list. Nah, I'd, I'd take Vooch over for, – eh, that's close. I'd probably have Porzingis. You can lose connection again. And then 40, Eric Bledsoe. Inside, outside. Mix up. Uh, it's a little high. I mean, he choked so hard in the playoffs last year. Just go up. Forget. I just want to see. Just go up fast, and I want to see. Gordon. I don't see anything? Jamal. God, this. Do you have like a million ping right now? Me. Yeah. Like really fast. It's like, probably you. you I don't know. know. Like all of them. No, it's not, bro. I got like 20 ping. Lonzo Ball at 56. Brock That's what at, What? Brooke Lopez at 58? No. Brooke Lopez is good, bro. His That's defense, he's probably boss. he's probably a top three rim protector in he the league. Him on either team. He's, Which like, makes you realize how much yeah. good players there are in the league. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, most of his defense comes from they just kind of just funnel everything into the lane and have him block shots. There it is. This is the one. Derek favors 60 over guys like Serge Ibaka, Clint Capella. Um, oh, who else? There was one that really pissed Wasn't me off. Wasn't he hurt for like 20 games? Yeah, he's so bad. Like he's he's a good player, but is he over – he's not over Valanciunas. Valanciunas is a better center than him. Schroeder's better than him. Christian Wood. I, eh, I don't know. Green, Draymond Green at what is he? Seventy eight. That's Jeremy so Jackson? low. Mm, That's good. so low. That's so much disrespect to Draymond Green. Joe Ingles is better than Draymond Green. No <laughs> Draymond way. Green. That's <laughs> so much disrespect. He's gonna come back next year. No, Be defensive player of the year potential. Mm-hmm. Like, 
uh, Derek favorites over Al Horford, like 21 spots ahead of Al Horford. Miles Turner. Hassan Whiteside, Drummond, Capello. Who's my boy? Over, over, they have favors. They have favors 30 spots ahead of Capella, Drummond, and Whiteside. Just, uh... Ridiculous. Oh, my internet connection is unstable. So I'm gonna let you have you passed Marcus Smart yet? He was probably up there. I don't really. Yeah, he was like fiftieth or below. Yeah. That. Good. All right, we can switch to some football stuff now. All right. So do you guys? We could do like conference finals matchups or something <laughs> for NBA. Let's switch to bat or football for now. Okay. We can come back to something. All right. So I got the NFL predictions for these three teams: the Browns, Vikings, and 49ers. Who the Browns? I'll let Ethan and Kenny. All right, Ethan, how are we doing this? Split it up. Do the first eight. I don't eight. care if you want to go first. Someone do the first eight and I'll do the second eight. Well, we're probably going to disagree on a couple. Let's just go game by game. And... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go week one. Where, I, where is it? Ravens. Is it 13? Ravens. Oh, Ravens. Ravens is a loss. It's definitely a loss. I think we can agree on that. They get early Joe Burrow week two. That's a win. Ethan. Um. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, they're going to run the ball a lot. They have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, who are arguably two top five, ten backs. They'll lose against the Ravens, obviously. They could really win five straight then after that, five or six straight depending on what the Bengals do. Um, I don't think they can – I don't think they'll beat an upper-tier quarterback like a Deshaun Watson or Carson Wentz necessarily. But they, they can – they'll be in contention at least for nine wins. I don't believe in Baker Mayfield. They got to keep the ball on the ground. Yeah, same. I yeah, think Baker. Yeah. They can beat the Cowboys. So they're um, he was th- Baker Mayfield was throwing the ball 27 times. A game last year. They're gonna have to bring that down to like twenty-two. Fifteen. Fifteen. Then Odell's really gonna request a trade. Odell's gonna be gone. He should. They should trade him. What they shouldn't trade in Joku. They gotta trade in Joku. Oh yeah, definitely. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, Titans. That's a loss. Eagles. I I think they lose to the Eagles. Not oh the, yeah, Texans is a toss up. Honestly, Deshaun can just. I think David Johnson will honestly have a breakout year again. I have like sixty of his cards, so I'm hoping so. I think it's more of a comeback year than a breakout year. At this, it's like his career is pretty much restarting at this point. The Texans' offensive line is atrocious. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's barely an upgrade from the Cardinals. I give them nine and seven. Yeah, nine and seven. That sounds good. I think they're capped at eleven, though. I think they go playoff one and one against all their division teams except for the Ravens. Yeah, and we'll see. Depends on how good Lamar is, too. What do you know? Yeah. Lamar's pretty good. I got right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's going to have a shitty year. Well, they, the, the biggest thing they did, they fixed the tackles. They got a right tackle and a left tackle in the draft. So I think they're going to be – they'll be just fine. Baker Mayfield kind of just takes the back seat and runs the team. They'll be okay. All right. Go to the Vikings. Vikings. Brighton's team. Oh, I give them 8-8. Eight and eight. <laughs> Really? I think they're going to struggle this year. They have a really good roster, I think. Yeah, but they, lost they only some lost to Fon Diggs. Lost some defense, guys. They did lose. They lost Linval Joseph and Everson Griffin, though. Everson Griffin's going to be a harsh. They lost Trey Waynes, too, right? Yeah, but he yeah. wasn't enough. Yeah, he signed with like, the Bengals. They also like, road, lost Rhodes. Did we lose, did we lose him last year? Oh, <laughs> Xavier Rhodes. Yeah, you yeah. got Rhodes close. Rhodes wide open. <laughs> uh, Kenny, are you pooping right now? Okay, well, Kenny's name, why? 
He's going to be trying to get a job interview someday, and they're going to deny him because <laughs> when he was a sophomore, put that on there. What are you talking about? Pull up our podcast with the reviewers. Shout out to the three viewers out there. Um, it what? means a lot. Who is what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> For the last podcast. Like, oh, yeah. The last podcast had like 80 views. Okay, but the three viewers that actually wanted to watch it for the basketball and not just watch it to see what happened. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> Packers, uh, the pant. I don't know. I think that's a win. Just because it's home. Colts, I win. Titans, the Lakers at home against Titans. Two and one. I think Colts, Colts will beat the Vikings. I think so. I think yeah. it depends. I think it depends on week one. If they – yeah. No, I don't know how that week one's gonna be. That's gonna well, be- the Colts have Jonathan Taylor now, so. Yeah. Phil Rivers, Mister Underrated. <laughs> okay, just gonna interrupt this real quick. I just got a notification saying that the Nets signed Michael Beasley, right? Yeah. And so he still has to sit out a five-game suspension that he's only served two games of. So he can't play the first three games. Oh yeah, because the Lakers cut him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's him being that guy. What's he? Supposed, he was kind of good like his first year. Yeah, he's a good. He probably yeah. his prime season. He averaged twenty points. I mean, he's just a yeah. scorer, but he just doesn't really try hard. All right, back to football. Sorry for that. Yeah, it's one of those clowns like a Lance Stevenson. All right. Yeah, so. I don't know about the Vikings. I mean, the Bears are going to be better this year. They went seven and nine with Mitch Trubisky being terrible. I think this conference or this division is going to be wacky. Lines, I can't even think. Going to have it's going to. It, they're going to have a tough stretch there where they have to play the Bucks, Bears, and Saints yeah. towards the end of the. I mean, those those games could kick them out of the playoffs if they go at one and two in that stretch. So I, they're like a nine win team probably. All right. One sec. I'm saying how many wins around seven. Although I, you, yeah, I mean, nine, Kirk, nine. if you look at Kirk Cousins' stats, though, he's been really good. Like I people hit eight. on him all the time. I but say his two eight, years. Eight and eight at worst. I think they can get nine wins. Maybe Kirk 11. Cousins is like an Alex Smith. <laughs> yeah, but he actually has guys. Who did the? Didn't the Vikings draft a decent corner from somewhere too? Yeah, the TCU guy. Yeah, they trade up in the first. I think they'll be. They had a good draft. They, they, we'll see. They have a really good draft. There's like a B plus or an A minus. This thing they get. Yeah. All right, the 49ers. 49ers. Oh, that's gonna be two and fourteen. I'm joking. But yeah, I think the 49ers are pretty overrated this year. They're gonna have a hangover season. Because you're a Chiefs fan. What? Chiefs? I think they're a, they're a 12 win team again. 13 and they, three did, they lost to Forrest Buckner. They added a left that one of the best left tackles in the league in Trent Williams. Oh, we're talking about the Niners now? Um, yeah. 11 and 5. I'd give them 12. Man, they could go 5 and 0 to start man, the season. Giants win. Eagles win. Dolphins win. There's five. Rams win. I don't know. Jet, Jets might be sneaky. Patriots. Uh, they're not going to be. They're not going to lose to the Jets week two. I don't think. They're starting six and zero. Oh. Five and zero. Oh. Six. I don't know. I think someone they, write yeah, it down. Someone down. write it down. Cardinals, Jets, Giants, Eagles, Dolphins, Rams. Six. At New England, I think that's a loss. They'll win at New England. They'll lose in Seattle though. Six, seven, and seven and one to start uh, with the Packers. The Packers will have will be their rolling number. by week eight. The Packers will have their number. They're going to go seven and two at Saints. Forty nine own the Packers, though. That's true. But I think this will be Rodgers' year. They'll lose to the Saints. I think that they'll lose to the Bills. <sighs> and they could go four and out end of the season. They can be as. Once, two, yeah, I didn't their schedule honestly it looks pretty, pretty easy. They have a pretty easy schedule. Yeah, they can go 12, 12 wins. Oh, yeah. They 12. lose at Arizona. 
They'll have Debo. They'll get Debo Samuel back hopefully, too. And a top three young coach in the game right now behind like with like Flores and Sean McVay. So twelve and four. Yeah, I'll go twelve and four. At best, or um, lost to the Cardinals. I mean, really, really, their only arch nemesis is Seattle. And Saints, Cardinals, Seahawks, Bills, and Saints are my losses. Yeah, that makes sense. How they could sneak away with 13 wins, if anything. Ooh. All right. So, talk about, talk about camp. Let's the Jets at, away at the Jets. Hmm. I'll give them the edge. Both of the doubt. Look up Cam Newton here. Go to that doc, actually, and Ethan had – a Yahoo Sports thing. Yeah, I did have a link up in there. I'm not sure. I like what Cam's been doing. He's been posting like workout videos on his Instagram. He put in he put a confident quote in this. Scroll down, yeah. It's gonna give us a weird font, but oh. It's not a phone. You just hold down on the letter, and it'll bring up the X and marks for all the letters. No, wait, he, there's an Instagram font maker, Kenny. Just go in there. Yeah. Kenny. What do you guys think about Cam Newton? What do you I, think? I like. I am a big fan. Really? I like him. I, it's, mean, it's, I was like about to. I like the contract they gave him. Where. Cam Newton is totally in control about how much money he makes. So, and if he it's busts another... this year, if he busts this year, his career is probably. It's yeah. another sneaky New England dart throw. That's it's true. like Jamie Collins last year. They signed him for the minimum, and he had a Pro Bowl level season. If so, Cam Newton... are you guys picking the Patriots with Cam Newton or the Buccaneers with Tom Brady? Oh, uh, Buccaneers with Tom Brady. Yeah, it's Tom. I think, the, I think Cam Newton's going to be better than people think. Like he's what really, people are thinking, he's playoffs level quarterback. People are – I think he's being a bit overrated, but he'll get the job done, but not at an elite level. Like, no win. He'll, he'll, he'll be a wild card lost team. I'd say ten and six. Yeah, I could see it. Who? Let's pull up their schedule quick. I gotta see this. I think Jared Siddham will start the first couple of weeks, to be honest, and then he'll take over. That's quite true. So we're predicting these guys first. Ethan, Dolphins win, Seahawks lost, one, two, one, two, and two. Broncos are going to beat them, two and three, 49 oh, and hey, It's one of my hottest teams in the NFL. You know, the Broncos. Ooh, Bills, at, kind of a tough at, Buffalo, at Buffalo is a loss. Yeah, definitely. Jets win, Ravens lost, Texans mm, probably lost. Texas is a win, Texas is a win. It's Cardinals, Cardinals win, Chargers, Chargers win, win, Rams win, Dolphins win, Bills win. No, at Dolphins, they always lose. For late season against the Dolphins, they lose that. We'll see what their record is, though. If they need a win, they'll get it done. Bills at home against the Bills win. Jets win. Then they got an easy Jets. close. They have an easy last six games. I, 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 I don't, don't sleep on the Jets. So don't sleep on the Jets. Probably. Sam Darnold's 30. Yeah, Adam Gay says no. Yeah, what yeah, if they yeah, lose? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna vi- Sam Darnold's bringing the virus midseason. Yeah. Denzel Mims. Oh, yeah. Quincy and Elma. Right. Probably be on Bell team. Yeah. So are we done with our discussion with Cam Newton? How many yards passing is he going to have if he plays a lot? Yeah. 
Let's say he plays 10 games. Mm-hmm. How many yards passing? 10 games. Well, 10 games at my, my I give Cam Newton 3,000 yards. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Like, Vegas, Vegas only gave the Patriots an extra half win for the over-under when they signed Cam Newton. So they obviously don't think Cam Newton's going to be that good. How many picks is he going to throw? He's going to throw a lot of picks, I think. But he'll throw Cam Newton. Cam New- Look, at, pull up Cam Newton's stats right now, Alex Donahue. <laughs> I don't think Cam's thrown over like 16 picks in a year. 24, I see. I think it's like his rookie year. Three, 21. No, 17. He's never thrown more than 17 picks. That's not, yeah, that's pretty good. What the fuck are you that? <laughs> he takes care of the ball. It's just. Where is that? Picks. Is he able to stay healthy? Which picks that and play? Where is interceptions? Oh, right here. 17. INT. 17. 17. That was his rookie season. I don't think – he's not going to throw more than 15 interceptions. Yeah, okay. Yeah, under Belichick, he's probably going to have him doing a lot of check Although, downs. It's West probably going to be a lot of, you know, heavy 12 personnel. If this. he does throw it, it's going to be an easy two-receiver two read downfield. He's going to – I need mean, a lot. Yeah. Running it a lot. Probably. And you got to think about this, too. He's going to have James White, who is a somewhat comparable back to Christian McCaffrey, so he can just check down all the time, too. Yeah. And we'll see what Kill Harry does yeah. this year. Hakeem Butler should have went for Nikhil Harry. Dude, I know. If he, play, he plays in Arizona, right, Hakeem? Yes. Yeah, he was an IR last year. Yeah, but is he going to play a lot this year, you think? Yeah. Well, he does have a lot of receivers to play behind, though. That's true. The fifth guy. Hopkins now. Um, Kirk. Fitzgerald. Oh, hi, Joe. He'll be a fourth receiver probably at the start. Maybe end up as a third or second. It's not even that bad. Maybe my yeah, it'll be Kirk, Fitzgerald, Hopkins. We'll pull an Alan Lazard. Become the second or third best receiver. I think he's more talented than Alan Lazard, so okay. hopefully. He has better receivers than the Packers did. All right. All right, Donahue, what are we up to next? Top five uh, running backs. I got ten. Top five running backs. College, ten? College, college running backs. You have ten college running backs? No, I'm saying, like, we could do ten. Yeah, Donahue, delete that. <laughs> Doing five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be my top five first. Donnie, who pull up a picture of uh, pull up a picture of Travis Etienne or Najee Harris. <laughs> Travis Eaton. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you say? E T E T I E N. There you go. <laughs> pull up a picture of that boy. <laughs> it looks like Kenny. All right, here we go. I'll do my top five. Here we go. All right, guys, you ready for this? <laughs> All right. I see a priest. Right. Number five. One sec, if I can find this. All right. My number five will be CJ Verdell. That's wow, that. you know who that is. I'm I'm impressed. Oregon running back, of course. Number four is gonna. I'm gonna have to say. You must have watched the. Watch Ernie, the Rose Brown. Bowl, Ernie Brown at number four. All right, number three. Let's see here. My list. No, I don't like it. It's pretty obvious. Who Najee the Harris. Three. Yeah. Um, it should be like Najee, Chuba, and Etienne. Yeah, I got tra- Etienne at two. And then Chuba Hubbard at one. My sleeper, though, Reese Hall. Okay. <laughs> Chuba. It's a U. Chuba, not Chaba. One B. Chaba Haba. <laughs> Freeze Hall's my sleeper. Okay. All right, Kenny, let's hear it. All right. Five. I got Journey Brown. Press Four. Jarrett Patterson. Three, Najee Harris. 
two, Travis Etienne, and number one, Chuba Hubbard. Although I do not like his remarks to Mike Gundy. Kenny, he's an Asian. Come on. All right. Yeah, my number five is Jarrett Patterson from Buffalo. Shout out Carlton Todd, who is from Des Moines West, who also plays for Buffalo. Who's your number five? Yes. Journey Patterson, or Jarrett Patterson. Jarrett Patterson. Rushed for over 1,700 yards last year on the ground. Number four. Why did you call me an idiot? I didn't call you an idiot. <laughs> Idiot five. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it either. All right. Number what four for me life? is CJ Verdell. Verdell. <laughs> C-E-R-D. Verdell. Just well, like. It does, and you know what I mean when I say it. It's just there. Yeah, so you but the, the viewers it. are going to think you're dumb. Yeah. I am dumb. Verdell. How do you spell Three, it? Three, it? three, 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 no, three, three is not. Verdell. How do you spell Verdell? I spell it it's a V. Why do you put CJ? Oh, Verdell. Why would you put CJ instead of Verdell? Number three. Number three is Najee Harris. Najee Harris. There you go. Two. Two is Chuba Hubbard. My number one is um, Travis Etienne. Yeah, that makes sense. Just because he plays on a better team, I could see it. And if I were to choose a sleeper, it would be Demetric Felton from. UCLA. Chip Kelly's the coach there, and Dimitri Felton is just Anthony Thomas sort of type player. Um, you don't have to write down. I'm sure you know how to spell Felton, but you don't have to do it. Yeah. Okay. Don't know who? Uh, uh, probably Chuba, number one. Uh-huh. Dunny, you actually watched Chuba Hubbard play once. Did I? Wow. Yeah, you did at that Oklahoma State game in um, Iowa State. Yeah. That game sucked. That game was awful. I hated that game. I was like, you got to be kidding me. This guy's. That was two that. years ago? Wallace, yeah. Wallace, two or three years ago. Wallace had like well, we didn't go to one two. this year. No, we lost this year. It was this year. We played him home and we lost. Or was it two years ago? I think yeah. we didn't go to a game this year. <laughs> no, it was three years ago. I went with two, I went with two at Jack this year and they lost. No, Donahue, Donahue, that, that Oklahoma State game was that one you yelled at those fans. <laughs> oh, you and Brighton were sitting up by yourselves. <laughs> you know, you threw a pop bottle at him. That was you. No, no, no. That was Kansas <laughs> State. No, that was TCU. No, TCU. That was TCU. TCU, I threw a pip bottle at some TCU Oklahoma fans. State was the, when we, there was that cute girl sitting next to us with her family, we yelled <laughs> at them. We were being really mean to them. <laughs> oh, geez, Donahue. All right, we'll cover one more topic. There's nothing on here right now, but let's do some NBA. Okay, we'll go back to NBA. No, what do you want to do? Draft. Draft. No. Ooh, I'll give like... you. I'll give you my top five prospects. You guys want to do that? Top five prospects. Yeah. Fine, yeah. yeah. The top three prospects. Absolutely. All right. So my number one prospect. I gotta look. At not that many good players. This is a pretty weak draft, honestly. Oh, no. I'm going to go Anthony Edwards. I mean, it's a guard-dominated league. He Half. can defend. He's probably just the best all-around player. Uh, it's kind of tough. I don't know. If I had the first pick in this draft, I'm probably trading down. You can get a nice player around four or five. There is no like, round four or five. What? You just said you're getting a nice player around four or five. A round pick four or five. Oh well, yeah, say Lamelo. Say Lamelo drops. Lavar says something, and Lamelo drops. And that brings us into my yeah, second pick, yeah. Lamelo Ball. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's like a six-seven point guard. He can yeah. shoot. He has the potential to defend. He's okay. long enough. His but brother is a good defender. Cool. If I were you, I'd be hoping that they fall to number three to the Wolves. I don't know if I. The Wolves need a guard. I don't think the Cavs need a guard. I don't. The Wolves don't need a guard. I the people have us taking the Mel Ball. I, think I don't really think because we have Delo, and we have Beastly, Jacoby, Culver that can all play the two one. Sure, if we have Lamelo, I think he could fit in with the Wolves, but I'd rather take a power forward. I hope he goes to the Cavs. That'll be good for me. Third. 
this is the perfect pick for the Cavs. I'm going Denny Avita. The Cavs have the second pick. Well, th- the ladder hasn't. If the Cavs, if oh, I'm yeah, the ladder, Cavs, yeah. I'm taking Denny first if I'm the Cavs. That's really? I mean, I think he's going to be a Walmart Luka. Yeah. Maybe never an all-star, but he's just going to be a good player. He's from, he's gonna, he's from Israel, right? He, yeah, he's probably the best Israel yeah, prospect. that guy. Um, he can shoot. He play. He can play the two to the four. I really like him. I mean, he's definitely reason, he, he can definitely develop. Give him two or three years. The only reason I don't have James Wiseman this high is just because usually teams don't draft a center in the top five unless it's a generational talent like a Cat or an Embiid or a Jokic, but he was drafted in the second round. Yeah, Wiseman's good, but he's more like an Aiton type guy. Yeah, he's just a flyer. Uh, all right, E, who are your top three prospects? You should put like a sleeper pick in there, like a all right, my sleeper late first, pick, late first, second round. Precious Achiwa is probably mine. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's just a nice power forward. He's the person I want the Wolves to take with their 15th pick. Well, the Nets make, make the playoffs. So the Nets will make the playoffs, even though they lost everyone. The Wizards have lost everyone, too. So, All right, E, let's hear it. Who's number one? Oh, he lost. He All lost. right, Kenny, let's hear it. Who's number one? Um, number one is Anthony Edwards. Just an all-around beast of a player. His defensive Strong potential goal. is through the roof. Shoot. Um, number two, well, so that's not Lonzo. Lamelo Ball. Number three, I'm gonna go with Obi Toppman. Um, yeah, he's talented. I, like it. I watched I like it. him. I actually watched a lot of Ohio State this year. Ohio State. Number four. Played for Dayton. James Wiseman. No, I don't have to. He's though. probably just looking up the mock draft. <laughs> not. Number five is Tyrese Halliburton. What? Okay, okay. No, I, I – It makes it. sense. I mean, if, if, say, if, like, the Spurs or someone got up there and they wanted a top point guard. If I'm the Spurs, I'm taking Halliburton. Top five pick, pick them the draft. Top five prospects. I want to give a shout out to a Kung Wu. I think he's going to be a really nice uh, power forward. Yeah, he was outside looking in. Same. He with... has some nice defensive potential. If the Wolves fall to the sixth pick, I'm probably taking him or Toppin. I don't know if Toppin's defense is going to be all there. That's why I'm kind of a little low on him. But he can score. He can rebound. He's a good player. Uh, also, I was thinking Cole Anthony could have slipped in there. That's my sleeper. Wait, yeah, I think he might drop a bit. Fan, I guess. All right, Ethan. Oh, me, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'd probably go Anthony Edwards, the Georgia man. Um, he's a solid 3 and D guy. It's not like he's a can't-miss but he, I think he's going to be just fine in the league. I don't know if he's going to be like an all-star, but he'll be pretty good. Lamelo at number two, another big, big score. He's he's a bet, way better scorer than Lonzo, I'd say, yeah. easily. So, uh, three probably Danny Avita or whatever his name is. Did you spell his last name wrong? I don't. I think so. I think it's there's maybe a J in there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it either. Uh, I've watched a little A-V-D-I-J-A. bit of him. It's A V D I J A. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah. I think he might be a little bit like Luca. I only heard. I, think. I saw him. Once. He's similar. He's more of a developmental prospect. I yeah. Think. Uh four, four. I'd put Wiseman. Just because, if you're a team looking for a center. Yeah. Uh, then five. I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. Obi Toppin. I don't really pay that much attention to the NBA draft. Um, Killian Hayes is another prospect that I really like. I feel like. I like uh, I like Miles Powell. I love watching Big East basketball. 
So he's hit he's hit plenty of clutch shots. Like he he's got some Harden in him. Got some Fox Sports bias right there. It sure is. <laughs> some Joel. Gus Johnson, yeah. Gus Johnson, and uh, yeah, I I like Big East basketball like as well. It's kind of that late night, late night winter Friday night type of. Shit. Oh yeah. Um, we're probably forgetting someone. I feel like I'm thinking of R.J. Hampton. <laughs> oh, if R.J. Hampton's gonna slip, he's gonna slip outside the lottery. I still really I mean, like him. Five. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I guess Brayden watches the most college basketball. So hey. did Cole Anthony declare? Edwards, yeah, he did. Anthony Edwards, uh, Lamella Ball, and then number three, I have. I don't know. This is a tough one. Probably Tyree Talburton. Ooh, that's high. I think I like that. Uh, he broke like his him. hand. He's going to fall more than that. Right. And then at four, Tyree needs to beef up. No, I don't like Toppin. Avidia, who, whatever that guy's name is. And then five, probably Killian Hayes. I like Killian Hayes. Yeah, definitely. My sleeper is Cole Anthony. Cause Cole Anthony. Yeah, North Dakota, North, North, North Carolina bias there and there. He had nobody on his team carrying them. So if he could play, he can go to a decent NBA North Carolina was so bad. They were so bad. I hated it. I, could not I forgot about Trey Jones. Trey Jones had a really nice step yeah, in his sophomore he, year. I feel like if he gets drafted by the Knicks, it's going to be – Has he declared? Yeah, he did. Yeah, Trey Jones was so much better. He, it's so it, I love that he didn't declare last year. Otherwise, he would have been terrible. That's what happened to Tyus. Isaac Okoro, um, I've seen a little bit of him. Not I, too I don't much. know how to think about him. He's pretty good, though. Any Arizona players overrated as hell? Just... Have you guys seen a lot of Scotty Lewis? I've heard a lot of hype around him, but I haven't seen right. him play at all. We would have if there was March Madness. Yeah, I hate I yeah. don't Daniels. Nico Mannion. He'll be a sharpshooter. <laughs> hey, it looks like Brian. Yeah. He's a shooter. I don't think RJ Hampton will go this high. Nico Mannion. He was born in I think White one. That's his oldest. Wiseman, Wiseman could go either number one or he could drop to like seven. It's just whatever team He's needs a center. Because what, what lottery teams really need a center? There's not too many. Wow, nice uh, Apple computer down in here. Thank you, thank you. Tuesday, August 25th. Golden State doesn't need a center. Cleveland. Golden State's trading for Giannis. <laughs> the yeah. Cavs. If I'm the Cavs, I don't draft a center. I, I'm getting a three. I'm getting a solid three. I'm taking Denny no matter what. Minnesota doesn't need a center. Atlanta doesn't need a center. Detroit. Could take a center. I'd probably have them take a point guard, though. Halliburton would fit in nice on the. Imagine going getting drafted to Detroit. Pistons. Or Lamella Ball. That'd be so depressed. <laughs> I'd like Lamella Ball in the. I'd rather go to the Knicks. Yeah, Knicks. the Knicks. I don't know. Don't you... see the Knicks in a couple of years. The Knicks, you just take the best player available. Even if it's a shooting guard, you just make him and Barrett work. They're under such bad management, but they're never going to get sold to a better person, so. Chicago, they probably game. Denny. They need a three. Yeah, but Ooh, they might they just have take like Thaddeus. Yeah, Otto Porter, Charlotte. Charlotte will take Wiseman one hundred percent. I like Charlotte. Charlotte's building something. But do you would you really want to run a lineup of PJ Washington and uh, James Wiseman together? I don't oh, know yeah, if they'd fit that not. well. Washington, I don't know. I mean, this draft's gonna be a little weird. Yeah. Just because there's not – it's not a deep draft in the teams that are top of the lottery. They're kind of – they have a nice core. So, if the Warriors get the number one pick, what do you th- guys think? Who would they draft? They're trading for Giannis. Not – who would they draft? If they're going to draft a player, who would they draft? <laughs> Who's gonna that they, they'd have to trade down, you'd think. Kenny, I, could see, I could see him taking Lamelo. I could see him taking Lamelo. I could see him taking Lamelo just because they're guard heavy. Yeah. Although they have Wiggins though too. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think we should trade Wiggins. 
They're probably going to package Wiggins in this pick for like a Bradley Beal. Giannis, Giannis. Or Dude, if they get Giannis, God forbid, Giannis. No way. If they get the first overall pick, don't they have two first picks too? No, but they have the Wolves pick next year, which might be they pretty good. They have the Wolves pick next year. In this top three First pick overall pick, Wolves pick Wiggins. next year. And Wiggins. That could get you a lot. Wait, if Giannis first wants first out. And Wiggins for Giannis. Imagine if they could keep Draymond, keep, keep Draymond and Clay. That could be good for that. I would. I don't know, man. I would that, add that team. That's the best package the Bucks could get, though. Ask for this something. Warriors pick, a Wolves pick, and Wiggins. That's the best package the that Bucks could get insane. from anyone. I don't know. I that'd be a head. That's tough. It'd be a lot. It'd have to be like three more first round picks, future first round picks, but they could get it done. I think. <laughs> they, they can do that then, Huck. But if I'm Giannis, I don't want to go there. I'm telling the Bucks, don't trade me there. I won't be happy there. Just because that would hurt his reputation right. so bad. Why don't we finish up talking about uh, like our top five uh, players with the most on the line in the bubble? All right. Uh, number number one. Yeah. Leon. <laughs> no, I just can't. I don't know. With the most on the line? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Zion's playing with house money right now. I saw this. I saw a cowherd take, and I loved it. Wow! The you person like calling cowherd for he has that some good takes. He had this was an amazing take, and I want to steal from him. Full credit to Coward. <laughs> Middleton <laughs> has the most on the line. One. Yeah, I was going to say that too. If he fucks up, if he doesn't play good, if the Bucks don't do good, Giannis is gone. What if Nancy hears that part of the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Giannis is gone. He's going to be stuck on that Bucks team forever. Yeah. He has to perform. All right. E, who's your number one? I'm just going to do all five. Oh, okay. I guess I'll do all five. Um, two. Probably James. I mean, LeBron, I mean, it feels just weird to put James. LeBron, I mean, he's getting older. Yeah, he's only got two or uh, three years so left. Mentor. Probably two or three years left max. If they do bad, Davis might leave. <laughs> Three is going to be a combo of Embiid and Simmons. They both have a lot really? of pressure. Both of them? Yeah, because, I mean, if either one underperforms, they're probably getting traded. Yeah. They just need to make I, it work. Why would I might trade Simmons? Ah, oh, Giannis. He's kind of looked upon as a playoff choker a little bit. Um, He really needs to just... He needs to go to at least to the finals or else he's just going to – because he has the chance to win three MVPs in a row and not make the finals any of those years, you know. Five, probably Paul George. Hasn't won a playoff series in so long. 2014. Um, yeah. Jeez. He finally gets a uh, top – like a, I mean, Westbrook was a really good player, but Kawhi is so much better than Westbrook was. So they lost to the Blazers. In this is his time. best chance. Yeah. All right. I didn't want to go to him, Death. Ethan, what's yours? Uh, number one, LeBron, obviously. Yeah. LeBron's heard all the chatter from the Jordan document and whatever, you know. He got screwed on Game of Zones for Paul Pierce. <laughs> uh, he, need, he needs this title. It, like, if this. If LeBron wins, no one's going to care about they're in a bubble or whatever. LeBron wins this. He's suddenly back even-ish with Michael Jordan, you can say. Number two would be Middleton, obviously. Um, if he, He's been shooting really well this year. He had another all-star year. If he can just do what he's been doing, not get shut down by, like, another Kyle Lowry or something, he's going to be – He's gonna, they're going to be just fine. The Bucks, the Bucks can easily walk through the Eastern Conference if Middleton's playing well. Um, number three wouldn't be LeBron. No, I already put LeBron. Jeez. Um, number three, I will. Uh, uh portion in it. Do mind, do mind, do mind quick. All right, right. Want number one, LeBron. LeBron. Two, Prime Middleton, just because I don't wait. I don't know. Three, Giannis, just because, yeah, he's good. Yeah, he needs to get to the finals. Uh, three, probably Paul George. Or no, four, Paul George, I should say. 
And then probably five would be, uh, I don't know, Anthony Davis. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I think he, just because he plays with LeBron, he hasn't done anything. Yeah, this is play. his first time, like. Yeah, exactly. He's had a really good team around him, so he needs to <laughs> show up. All right, E, back to your list. All right. Yeah, three, I'm going to put Jason Tatum, right? If Chase, yeah. Jason Tatum has been playing so well this year, is he, he's eligible for the Supermax. Am I, am I wrong? He's eligible if for he the makes, Supermax after this year. If he year. makes an all-NBA team, he will be. Yeah. So he has to have a big-time finish to the season. And then, really, he's in that superstar sort of discussion. So if he has a big year, they say at least the Eastern Conference Finals, um, he's up in – He's one of the young superstars, even more so in the league. He, he's pr- really probably the best player on the team if he has a good run here. Uh, number four, I'm just going to put Embiid, just just Joel Embiid. I think if he – he's in really good shape right now, actually. I, you know, you, he's been posting workout videos and such. But if he flops or something, then he's in danger of getting traded. And then number five, uh, I'll probably put Anthony Davis. He's yeah. got a he's. Anthony Davis has to p- play well. Um, he's won like one playoff series, right? Maybe. Uh, I don't even know if he's won one. Yeah. Or has he been to the playoffs once or yeah. something? No, they beat the Blazers. They beat the Blazers that one year. Yeah, he's they won one playoff series. They t- people talk about him like he's a top five player in the league, which isn't wrong. But he's got to be able to step up, elevate his game to be able to help LeBron win another title. Kind of talking about Anthony Davis, another player that's sort of in that same uh, zone, Kemba. He finally has a good team with him. I mean, he just needs to show up now and show that he's a really good player. He's just not talked about though much. That's true. That's like he doesn't really – he kind of slept on though too. Kenny – all right, number one is LeBron James. Just that whole go conversation and prove that he can still get it done, even with and the he Lakers, built a school. That good ass Lakers team. I say if he wins it all this year, he's tied with Michael for the goat. But I don't know about that. He's pulled even ish. Mm-hmm. That's he's a, like one stair two. step below Michael. Maybe we can talk about that on the next podcast. Like have an actual conversation about the let's have a whole thing about michael yeah bit controversial here i'm gonna go with russell westbrook i like that yeah that's a good pick just prove that he's a winner and not just a stat pattern which i've always found annoying about him that yeah he can get it done in the regular season but he's never been a really playoff performer since kd was there that's true um, number three, I'm going to go with Anthony Davis. He's a great player, but he still hasn't shown that he's that top, 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 top tier player. He's got to break through that ceiling and try and help the help out LeBron securing this title that I honestly feel like they desperately need. Number four, um, Kemba Walker. With the um, with the Celtics, just they've gone through. He's now their third different star point guard they've had in the last five years. Prove that he's the one. Number five, uh, Chris Middleton. Don't get your ass traded. What if Sandy hears that part of the podcast? <laughs> Another player is uh, James Harden. Kind of looked upon as a choker. He needs oh, yeah. Once they once they traded for Westbrook, it was finals or bust pretty much this year. Otherwise, they're going to have to, like, tear this thing apart. I don't know what they're going to do. Definitely. Um, I think Luca. he has some pressure. But if he does I bad, mean, I think no one's going to blame him. Mavs are like playing with house money still. Yeah, he really doesn't have anything to prove. They just got Kristaps back this year. I mean, yeah, if they get swept, 
they're the the super young team. I mean, Luca still averaged thirty points this past. Like, season, yeah, so. people were saying they'd be like Barrett might miss the playoffs still again this year, and they surprised everyone. So what for coaches? What? What do you think about coaches that are like on the hot tail? Like, oh, that might get fired if they fuck up. Yeah. If Nancy hears that part of the podcast. <laughs> Um, I mean, the Lakers coach, who saying, even is it? Not make the finals? Not I Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. No, it's uh, Fred Vogel. Frank Fred Vogel. Vogel. Frank I mean, fire if they don't make the I think they're fine. Yeah, the Lakers coach is fine. Um, Brad Stevens is fine. The Nuggets Doc coach Rivers is fine. Is fine. Yeah. Quinn yeah. Snyder's fine on the Jazz. Philly's uh, coach might be on the hot Philly's seat. Philly's coach is on the hot seat. I think that's really the only one. I mean, let's just pull up the standings because I just can't think of them. Miami's coach is fine. Yeah, most of these coaches are tenured that have just been there forever. Box, Budenholzer is fine. Nurse is fine. Nick Nurse. Raptors are coming off a title. Heat's fine. Pacers, Nets don't the even, did the Nets even have a coach? <laughs> no. So, yeah. It's just Kyrie running the team. The Pacers coach, oh, he's – I know what he looks like. David McMillan? No, uh, Nate. DJ McMillan? DJ <laughs> McMillan. <laughs> Wendy McMillan? <laughs> no, it's Nate McMillan. He's a decent coach. He puts together some decent <laughs> ones. Um, Nate McMillan. The Magic coach? I don't even know the Magic coach. <laughs> had the, the same West. coach for like 10 years. Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets. Mike Malone's fine. He almost was one coach of the year. Jazz, fine. Thunder? Oh, what's his name? Is it not Sam Presti? That's the GM. Oh, no, I should know that. Yeah, I, Billy Donovan, yeah. I mean, he had such a good season. He might Billy even win D. coach of the year. He might win coach of the year this year. He's they have Roberson coach. back. Roberson's back from the dead. Rockets, D'Antoni's might be on the hot seat. A... D'Antoni might get fired if the Rockets get like swept in the first round. <sighs> D'Antoni might get cut, and then Rick Kyle Carlisle's been there so long, it can't be him. So yeah, I think most be... coaches are safe. All right, Does that wrap it up for today. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Now one more thing. One more thing. Uh, Who's winning the finals? Who's winning the finals? Dude, that's not that's a whole. Yeah, topic. we got it. That's a whole other time. Yeah, we got it. You know, you know, this is good. This is already over an hour. Let's just yeah, get here. All right. All right. All right. We'll talk Patrick Mahomes next time. All right. So like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Clack cards. Yeah. Um, follow us Instagram too. Clack oh, cards. the guys Instagram. With the app. What? Send all your guys Instagram too. Shout them out. Follow at Charlie Charmoney forty six. <laughs> uh, don't know who fifty five. I think that's what it yeah, is. No. <laughs> but Charmoney forty six. I'm not putting that. That's my. We'll get a. We'll make an outro with all our ads and shit. <laughs> all right. All righty. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Right. Peace. So, fire ass argument in the club. Whatever. All right, cut it. I'm, yeah, I'm going to bed. Okay. Stop recording. Brian, stop like recording. You, you have to stop recording. I'm trying to. There you go. I'm no, trying. you're still recording. To.